Hi everyone, welcome to review of chapter 16. For chapter 16, we're going to be looking at different pricing strategies that firms have to evaluate. You notice that pricing strategies are important because when we look at pricing strategies, we're looking how firms price their products to get consumers to buy more. When we look at prices, you're going to see how is it possible for firms to charge different prices for the same products? How can firms charge and want to charge different prices? What would such a practice do? Would it increase or decrease efficiency? When we look at these different pricing strategies, we're going to look at this advantage or this theory called arbitrage. Arbitrage is looking at two identical products and they sold for different prices. For example, an Apple iPod might sell for $4.99 in stores in Atlanta and $4.29 in stores in San Francisco. Now, why do you think that would happen? Why would firms be able to sell it in one store and not in the other store? One store at a lower price compared to another store. In all likelihood, some entrepreneurs started buying iPads in San Francisco and probably started shipping them and selling them for $4.99 or maybe a little bit less. When they do this, they're taking advantage of the lower price, the higher price in one area to be able to produce. You notice that we look at the transaction costs and the arbitrage that incurs. So in the area where it's $4.99, you'll notice that the supply of iPads will increase dramatically, whereas the supply of iPads will decrease dramatically in San Francisco. So if products were completely able to flow between both different cities, you're going to expect the prices to start to meet start to meet at one price. So the prices in Atlanta will start to increase, where the prices in San Francisco would start to decrease, which causes that conversion of the law of one price. Now, the theory with the arbitrage is looking at transaction costs. And transaction costs only work when firms are able to charge prices that are competitive. When you look at transaction costs, these are the costs to compete in a market. These are the costs to acquire a good or service. And many firms have to deal with these transaction costs. Now, when you look at why don't all firms just charge the same price? And that's a very good question. Many firms don't charge the same price because there always there's a different price in terms of firms trying to gain market share. When firms are trying to gain market share, this will create a lot of opportunities. And this is where you find different websites offering these various prices. And you're like, why are they offering these prices at such different rates? And if you look at these prices, there could be a lot of different reasons for why these one price exists. So those are some of the concepts that we're going to focus on this week. If you have any questions or need more resources, please let me know. But I look forward to your reference.